on, come to the screen. Come to the camera. Hello. Hello. Is it too dark? Maybe I should turn it up. Yeah, just turn it up a little bit. Which one is or it? Or is it the brightness? This? Let's try it. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Do you have the your iPad? Of course I have oh, the iPad. Yes. I have it up. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. It is tea time. Got candy. Got candy. I feel like we should angle this down. Well, how so you should we see do your that? cute outfit? How do we do that? I don't know. Let me see. We'll put it on a. Never mind. Uh oh, I alone. think that's good. I'm gonna just leave. That's it good. Who's ready for some tea time? Wait, let's show our makeup of the day. Come okay. close. It's a little old, but. I was going to take my ponytail out because it's a little tight, but Hallie said it was cute. No, so. she needs to keep it because it's snatched and cute. So I kept it. This is our glam for today. So we have how many minutes before you out, you leave I me? have to leave in 20 minutes. And I'm sad because I had so much fun with my sister today. Someone said, mind you, they on set for a water commercial. Um, no. <laughs> Stop acting like you know our business when you don't. So we begin. <laughs> I got to see my nephew today. <sighs> okay. Okay, so should, which one do we do first? Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. He <laughs> had a wet diaper. Okay. okay. So we're going to dive right into this because I have to leave in 20 minutes. <gasps> Please, with, I'm getting scared. <laughs> That did Great. not happen earlier. Okay. Do you want some? Yeah. Okay, okay. so which one? This one sounds good, but okay. is it actually good? Um, oh, okay. This is a good one. My boss's husband is flirting with my coworker. Mm -mm -mm. Please make this anonymous. My boss is a woman, and she has a daughter and a husband. She's cool, but a bit of a bitch. But I don't mind. So here it goes. I have a workmate who is also my BFF. She's pretty. Uh-oh. You just took it off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom. Okay. Serves. She's pretty, and a lot of guys like her. My friend slash workmate messaged me randomly about how low-key uncomfortable she was when the husband of my boss kept liking her, her stories. stories. I told her the guy is just being friendly, but it has been happening for months now, and he doesn't like other people's stories. And the stories he keeps liking are like a mirror in close-up selfies. Months later, I flew up to meet with the team. We all went to a bar that is also our client. We all went out drinking and partying. I heard her husband and a few guys from the team talking about my workmate. She didn't attend the party. I heard the husband saying, oh, fuck, blank, my workmate's name. She's so hot. It's been weeks and it's haunting me. What? What? Okay. Why are you being messy? Yeah. Listen. Who, don't Should you... I tell my boss and workmate? Okay. You no. being messy. That's mess. Why are you in grown folks' business? Nothing is going on. Yes, maybe he was trying to flirt by liking a story or two, but he didn't take it past that. And the workmate isn't. I'm sorry. You though. being messy. I might have to play. You're going to go and say something <sighs> and possibly get the person. No, fired? I wouldn't say nothing, but I would feel a type of way if my husband was liking stories and telling his workmates, oh, she's so hot. And he's of married. Course, but that's not, say I'm the person seeing that. What kind of messy person yeah, that am is I a, to go out that and is say, a messy person. hey boss, your husband thinks such and such is hot. Yeah, and then, is liking stories. Then you would probably get yourself fired. Thank you. Yeah. Because then my wife is probably, the boss is like, what are you in my business for? No, you're right. Nope. Okay. Next. Let's fix the next one. A night to remember. remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. 
I went to a Halloween party in 2023 with a group of friends. My ex at the time was hosting the party, but he invited me because we were still cool. <laughs> you finished reading it? We get to the party and he welcomes everybody in line and stops at me. I was last in line. He closes the gate and asks if I want to go inside and have a drink with him. Of course me. I said yes because hello, I'm at a party and I want to get lit. So we go inside and have our drink and after the seventh drink I had to sit down because I overdrank. He walks over to the couch and asks me to meet him in the guest room upstairs for a little chat. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in his bed and we're having sex. When I tell you this man put me to work, I mean, he put me to work. <laughs> I am now seven months pregnant and he is convinced the baby is not his. What do I do? Get a paternity test and prove him wrong or become a single mom? So she's willing to not get a paternity test and just be a single mom? It takes two to tango. Yeah. If they know they did the do, she's got to, they've got to go take the test. Yes. And if he refuses to be in the child's life, then uh, you need to pay up some child support because you both created a child. Exactly. You both got it on. Exactly. She couldn't create the child without you. Mm-hmm. Amen. So what do you think? She needs to get a paternity test and tell the man to help her. And if he doesn't want to do it, if he has a sibling or a cousin, you get them to do the paternity test. That's true. Yes. That's true. That's what you can do, guys, because we watch a lot of divorce court and paternity, paternity court. And so sometimes when the family member who is uh, being seen as the father is deceased or something, they would... Uh, Give, they would swab a family member of that deceased family member and find out if they are related anyway slept with my roommate's boyfriend i mean oh, roommate's no. bestie hmm. please use fake name i'm from florida we went to school at famu so i've known my best friend from college for like six years and we're roommates now well a while ago we had this party slash kickback to go to for a roommate of our friend who is his best friend let's call him noah well, long story short, my best friend got really inebriated and needed to sleep early. Well, I guess Noah decided to go for it and made a move on me. We ended up making out and sleeping together. We got up pretty early the next morning and no one realized that we slept in the same room. Now I have this guilt with me and I can't tell my best friend because that would probably drive us apart. But it was hot. Hope you enjoyed. Hmm? It would only drive you, you all <laughs> apart is if you've been sleeping with your best friend. Yeah. I don't understand what the problem is here. Mm. Okay, my lazy boyfriend. Mm. This is a good one for us mm. to talk about. I have been together with my boyfriend for 14 years. We wow. have an 8-year-old son together and he's the love of my life. He fails to do simple daily things. Mm -hmm. Such as cook for our son, take him out, treat him with respect and more. He says he wants to stay with me but he doesn't want to get married. Mm. I say even after 14 years and he says that he doesn't want to be stuck with me. <gasps> we have the money to go on vacations, but he says he can't stand being with me for more than an hour. <gasps> he won't hug, kiss, or even tell me that he loves me. Help me, girls. Do I settle for my son to have two parents actively in his life or do I leave for my own happiness? He already left. He already left, girl. <sighs> That's sad because 14 years she invested in her of her life. 14 years he already left and if he's not doing it with you he's doing it with somebody else if he's not kissing you you said he won't hug kiss or even tell me that he loves me he's doing that to another woman man you can pick the next one damn hooked up with my co-worker i need advice uh-oh That one's kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. She just she basically was just saying that she hooked up with her co-worker and now he's egging her. And she asked him, is this just for sex? So and he, he told must, her no. And then they did it and now he's ignoring her. It must have not been that good if he's ignoring her. Okay, read this one. 
me and my girlfriend have been dating for three years. We have a two-year-old son together. <laughs> I'm still laughing from what you just said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you get ignored, then yeah, it's like, uh-oh. So, <laughs> Something must have been... <laughs> Am I tripping? Am I tripping, though? I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. Me and my girlfriend have been dating for about Woo. three years. We have a two year old son together, so I thought. I've noticed So I thought. Mm. Wait a minute. I've noticed that uh her and my brother were getting close, but I never would have guessed they were messing around with each other and the way I found out was even crazier. For my job I travel, so I'm really not home. But for this day I flew back home early to surprise her, bought her flowers, flowers. etc. I get in the house, I hear noises <laughs> from upstairs. So I went to check it out and I caught them red handed. They couldn't even say anything. So I asked how long. They said three years. In my mind, my is my son really my son or my nephew? And she's pregnant again, so whose baby is that? To get to the end, my son is actually my nephew, and the unborn child is my child, and they are together now. I cut ties with both. You lost your brother and your woman. Now that's just Off of some, some sex. <laughs> wow. Now that's some bad Ooh. stuff. That's terrible. Ooh. Mm. <gasps> oh I recently graduated high school and let me tell you my life has been crazy so all my life I was unsure about my sexuality until my freshman year I realized I'm bi so during my junior year I met this whole new friend group and let me tell you we were all fine my friends are never ugly <laughs> <laughs> so I had my eye on this one girl we'll name her Stacy Stacy and I became so close from there on out to the point where I started to grow feelings towards her. In our friend group, we also had a boy, and we'll name him Johnny. Johnny and I also became close, closer than Stacy and I. Fast forward, senior year, we all joined the dance team. Johnny became dance captain, and I was his right-hand man. Of course, we were his right-hand man. So, boom, he confesses he has feelings for me, but scared old me was like, oh, no, I'm straight. Why did oh. he lie to him? Prom night, I officially asked Stacy to be my girlfriend the next week. Me and Johnny did the do. Me and Stacy also did the do. I felt guilty and cut everyone off, but now I miss them both and really want to mess with both of them again, low key. What should I do? I think he should go with his first instinct, which was to tell the. Why are you scared to tell the guy that you have feelings for him? He messed up. Uh uh. He has. He does not have the right to choose anymore. Well, not anymore. Not anymore, homie. You can't have your cake and eat it too. No. Wow. What would you do if you were Stacy? If I was Stacy? And he didn't tell me? Thank you. Oh, I would lose my mind. Now, because first of all, that's putting your health at risk. That's bad. Hooked up with my coworker. We did that one. <laughs> we already did that one. What is this? Oh, this is good. Okay. Me and my soon-to-be divorced husband have been together for 15 years now. I love him to death, but he is weak in the bed. Important to the story in parentheses, mind you. We have wanted kids for the longest, but he just can't get me down. If you know, you know. His D is just too small. And if I can't get him to have a child with me by 2025, it's over. Help me, girls. Do I stay with the small D and settle or leave? and f Or find me a strong, black, fine 6'2 man? Oh no. I'm sorry, girl. You gotta leave. Hold on. I'm just but just because she already said my soon to be divorced because husband. she already <laughs> <laughs> She already made up her mind. But my thing is the size doesn't matter if it can shoot up the club. What? <laughs> They've been trying to have kids for 15 years. Oh, I thought you meant <laughs> They've been trying to... <laughs> they've been trying to have kids for 15 years. 
And she says, that if, and if they can't have a child by 20, 25, it's over. I'm sorry, but if you're trying with somebody for 15 years and he's actively shooting the club up and nothing is happening, y'all are not meant to be together. Oh. Something's not working. The chemistry isn't chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she already made up her mind. She already said my suit to be divorced husband. So you might as well change the 2025 to the end of this year and just call it quits. Just look at the way she wording it. Do I stay with the small D and settle or leave and find me a strong black fine 6'2 man? <laughs> now, sometimes, you know, someone said he doesn't have any swimmers. Someone said they are not compatible. Someone says she want a 6'2 black man real bad. He gotta go. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, oh no. this is not. No, is... the guys. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no. That's I told you nasty. that's bad. That's, that's a bad. little too nasty. Some of y'all, I really feel like some of them are making up fake stories and sending them. I was the other woman. Hmm. But this is a past story. We need current juice. Mm. Right? Four year situation gone bad. Huh? What? That doesn't make sense. Boring. Oh. Damn. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is too long. Mm -hmm. That's too long. Sorry, girl. <gasps> this is a good one for us. My boyfriend cheated on me with my sister <gasps> I've been dating this guy for five years and everything was going great until I found out that he was cheating on me for two years with my twin sister and I found out through Instagram DMs I don't know what to do I don't know if I should cut my sister off or cut him off you want my opinion cut them both the, boil. the hell off both them they well, both need to be cut the hell off of course they, i'm sorry yeah, yeah yeah the thing is they both need to be cut off first but maybe in a few years three four five six years you and your sister can rekindle because the thing about family oh hell to the no that's sometimes, what i would say no, no i would no we would never do that to each other and sometimes family sometimes you just gotta snip snip sorry girl bye no, That's cut true. them both off. Don't go back to the dude and don't go back to the Absolutely sister. Absolutely, don't if go you back, go to, back the to the dude. You are more wrong than both of them. That's true. Because if you forgive him and over not forgiving your sister, your sister, then that's no. fucked up. Then cut that's them both off. Mm. Period. Okay. Oh, that's horrible. That's really fucking bad. I don't know how people do that. Though, how could anybody do that? I saw in Karomo a, a similar story. Well, no. On Karomo, it was a story where it was two twin sisters, and one of the sisters was trying to tell the other sister that her current boyfriend was trying to hook up with her, and the sister didn't believe her. And then, I know what yes, episode you're talking about. And then they about. found out that the guy was lying, and then they ended up rekindling their sisterhood, and then that was really nice. See, and the sister did the right thing. Exactly, by telling her. And not falling for some BS, number one. Yep. And still and going telling back her, to a man. And still telling the sister, despite how the sister would react. Yes. Uh-oh, what's this one? Which one? Which one? Click on it. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. This is some erotic thriller. What? <laughs> Shades of gray. What? Played by a straight guy. <sighs> what? <sighs> no. That didn't make no sense. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. Oh. Fell in love with my straight best friend. 
hey so this is probably about to be all over the place because it's a lot just for visuals he's straight in quotations okay so okay. They, uh, they probably okay. he's straight and white and i'm black and gay Aww. we started off as co-workers and would always be flirty with each other and smacking each other's asses <laughs> okay his girlfriend at the time also worked with us well, how does she feel about that <laughs> Then one day he told me he had never been as close and comfortable with another guy and called me his best friend. I died inside. He introduced me to the rave scene. And so one day we were out at one and I caught his girlfriend cheating. cheating. I told him and he broke up with her and made me help him move her stuff out. We eventually became even closer. And one day we were drunk and he was literally begging him, me to blow him. I did. And then eventually we became sexually active all the time. I obviously caught feelings. Oh yeah, yeah, you're so gay. Of course. Hey, so, yeah, the bathroom, so can I give okay. it to you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, Are you smiling at mommy? Hi. 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 If I would you say if I sit him? Yeah, just make sure he doesn't turn just, his head. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and if he does, I'll go like Special this. Special appearance by, by Halo. Halo. Hi, hey, baby. Baby. You're smiling. Hi, baby. You're smiling. Hi. You're so happy. Hi, baby. You see him smiling. He's so happy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this is a little inappropriate for your ears. Oh, so we finished reading this in front no, of No, not in front no. of Halo. Awesome, y'all. Hey. Hey. Okay. Maybe we should pause. I don't want him to hear the inappropriateness. Yeah. Hey, baby. He's smiling. He's so you had a good nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So maybe that concludes the yeah. time. <laughs> Yes, he does. He's very smart. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi, hey. Baby. Okay, don't don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't. <laughs> don't turn. Okay, oh, I think that concludes you. it, guys. Oh wait, people saying they need to know. So they said he is a baby. Finish this story. <laughs> okay, just finish. Wait, it. wait. Oh. Did you see him? No. No, not really. <laughs> okay. Someone said, we know he's a genius, baby, but come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where was it? I don't know. It's okay. We oh can gosh, still... I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. We can still hold him for... Oh, for just... well, let me... my God. It's okay. <laughs> let me find it. What was it called? I forgot. Okay. He said he was black and gay, so let me search that. <laughs> Is this a? That's what I'm saying. I feel like we should have been. Let's it. wait. Let's Maybe just we... wait. Yeah, guys. Sorry. On the next episode of, of Tea, Tea Time. Time. Well, let me PG it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me read it and PG it up. Okay. Okay. After he caught the girlfriend cheating, right? He said, I can't be your boyfriend, but I can treat you like one and give you the qualities of one. Okay. We told each other everything. One night we were at the club and he was with someone else. I completely lost it. I could have stopped crying in the car. Now, why, why is that? That's the whole story in itself. Dang. Oh, he then he met a girl feelings. much younger than us and then cut me off completely and I haven't recovered since. Yes, it got well, toxic, but I miss fault. him and think about him every day. I've thought about reaching out to him over, even though it's been over a couple years. Thoughts? Don't reach out. Don't do it. He was just playing with you. Yes, you just were. Just for his fun. Yes, to experiment and, and figure it's out what sad, he wanted. And a sad reality, but that's what it was. Yes. And he shouldn't have used you the way that he did. And that is unfortunate and horrible. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I, think, right, I think we end on that. Yeah. What are you just smiling for back here? Huh? Halo! Hi, baby! Hi! Hey! Hey! hey. hey. I love you! 
Okay, guys, we're gonna go now. We love you guys. Thanks for joining. That was a show the baby. You guys see the baby all the time. Love you. <laughs> Peace, love, and hair grease. What would you like to say? Any final Peace, words? Peace, love, and happiness. Peace, love. Peace, love. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. See you guys.